Let me ask you something. Did you know that you could mortally wound your helicopter engine in less than a second? That's right. 30 to 40,000 K gone overnight in the blink of an eye. So if you don't want to fry your turbine engine up on start off, you better take lessons from Randy the Jazz Pilot. Watch and learn. Hey, that tune's called Come Fly With Me, and that's a good idea. Let's go fly. Hi, Randy here. I'm at the airport today to get a ride in the uh, golf cart, but as long as I'm here, I might as well show you how to start up the A-Star helicopter. Uh, it was developed back in the early 70s by Aerospecial, and in the North America, it's called the A-Star. The rest of the world calls it the Curiel, which means the squirrel. Here's a picture of the early prototype of the squirrel helicopter. Here's a picture of the instrument version for instrument flying of the squirrel helicopter. Okay, well as long as we're here, let's get going. I'll show you how to start this up. Come with me. Okay, we're in the A-Star AS350 B2 VEMD, which is a digital display. All right, let's get started. First thing I want to do is make sure all my switches are off. And every ship is a little different, but uh, this is where the switches are located. And then I'm going to come down here. Fuel shut off all the way down. Rotor brake all the way down. Fuel control up and in the notch. And the collective has a little bit of a lock here. Make sure it's locked so it can't come up. Okay, let's come up to the switches. So we've got the battery on. And now we're going to wait for the BEMD display to come on. And it takes a couple seconds. There it is. Now we can proceed. Now generator on. Pito heat on. And we're going to check the fuel pump. So we're going to turn the first pump on, look for a rise, turn it back off. Second pump on, look for a rise. And now we want to make sure that the fuel warning light turns off. So we'll turn the second fuel pump on and that warning light comes off. Now we're ready to get it started. Now we're going to start by hitting the starter button and increasing the fuel flow, monitoring carefully the T4 gauge. As it starts to speed up and approach 7, we want to back off, as you can see, keeping it under 700 degrees. Now slowly inching forward on that fuel flow, making sure it doesn't go above 7. At that point, we're going to take a look at the NG gauge and wait for 40 to 45, in which case we can release the starter button, which we just did. And now we'll continue to smoothly increase the fuel control lever all the way to the end and lock it in the little notch. There you go. That's all there is to it. Let's get this baby off the ground and go fly. This is Randy the Jazz Pilot saying thanks for watching and watch for more videos coming to computer screens near you.